Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm at your call today for the Hellraiser show. Joined by Cruiserweight Luke Watkins. How are you, Luke? I'm very well, Umar. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Obviously, your fight with Lawrence has been announced. Yes. Uh, I haven't got a date yet, though. Sky, um, haven't released Sky anything. haven't released anything on the date yet. I believe it's going to be on the next gen show. Um, Which could be down here, no? Possibly. He's from London. I bring people to London. It makes sense to be in London. Would you be happy doing it at your call? Would you want a slightly bigger venue? A ring's a ring, right? Fair enough. Um, yeah, what, going into that fight, what would you, how would you assess Lawrence uh, as a fighter? Well, he's got his pedigree. You know, he's, I don't believe he's showcased what his ability is yet because of the people that he's had in front of him. Uh, the last fight with Isaac, Isaac Chamberlain, we didn't necessarily see the best of him again. He got the win. He had some tricks and things up his sleeves that I don't think people that give him credit for. But styles make fight, and that fight they just clashed. Okay. Um, so what have you been doing? Just training, nut down? Training, that's it, yeah. Obviously, I prepared. I prepared for a fight in March due to that freak weather, the one and only day. Snowing, yeah. Fucking yeah, uh, it was cooled off. So I've been in camp, I was in camp, uh, went away for a while, come back, and then I've been training, training, training. Um, there was a bit of talk of you having a European shot as well, possibly. Yes. Yeah, what happened with that? Uh, it went to first bids and we let that one go. Reason being a fight with Lawrence, I think makes much more business sense is here it's in the uk it's in front of his fans my fans whereas if it was a european we'd be going away no man's land god knows where in another man's backyard it's nice you know i think the opportunity itself here with the fight against lawrence is definitely worth it mm, sure um do you want to get your reaction to uh, deontay wilder's 50 million dollar offer certainly joshua do you think it's real or is it pr stunt you, you heard what Eddie said, uh, something about like, where's the money, where's the contract, show us it in an escrow account. None of that's happened, so load of BS. Okay. Um, yeah, if that fight did get made though, um, what would your pick be? Joshua. I think Joshua's last performance. Some like, people were saying, oh, he didn't go for the win, all this, that and the other. But at the end of the day, I think he showed the most maturest performance that he's shown. I thought it was a really good performance. Yeah, just sticking behind a jab. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so would you back him to stop Wilder then, if that, if that got made? That's not seeing 12 rounds, I don't think. Wilder's too wild, Joshua can bang. I'm waiting for that fight, I can't wait for that one. Uh, yeah, also Dillian White's been linked uh, with Deontay Wilder, obviously try, trying to get in that mandatory spot for the WBC. Um, if, that, if that did come about... Um, Dillian White? Yeah? Yeah, Dillian White. I want him to win the world title. I proper, proper like Dillian White as a fighter. I love everything he's about. What did you make of his last performance against uh, Lucas Brown? Great performance. He turned up, absolutely turned up. He got himself in great shape. He was focused and he stuck to the job and done the, done the number on Lucas Brown. Mm. Uh, let's talk about Brooke Khan. Uh, obviously, you saw Khan destroy Le Greco the other night. Then Brooke jumped in the ring after. Um, yeah, your thoughts on that saga? Um, I think... Khan beats him. I think Khan beats him. They're both class. I'm an Amir Khan fan. He was, what, uh, he was one of the first boxers I started looking, really looking into. You know, before you look at all the greats and everything. But yeah, definitely, I'll pick Khan. Yeah, what on points? Don't know. Mm. That could go either way. Do you think we'll ever actually see that fight? There's a good chance that one might not happen. Do you think we'll look back in years and think, shit, we should, you know, like, damn, we didn't see that? How... You know, Khan's had a long career. How how long has he got left, and how long does he mm. want to spend left in boxing? That's not saying like he's past it or anything. Him and Brook will be a big, big payday. That might be his last fight, and he might be out. We don't know. Well, Eddie Hearn said uh, he does Wembley Stadium. Do you, do you agree with that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a promoter. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, not necessarily. I think it's massive. I do think it's really, really big. I don't know if it does Wembley Stadium. Let's talk a bit about the uh, World Super Series. Obviously, Uzik Gassiev in the final in your division. Um, that's obviously been rescheduled. I don't know yes. really what's going on with that. But when that does happen, uh, yeah, thoughts on that fight? Usyk. Yeah? I think Usyk wins, yeah. On points? No, I don't, oh, see, okay. I don't see that fight going on points. You know, 
I say that because of the way Gassiev fights. Gassiev comes forward mm. and he is a better version of Marco Hook. That comes forward, he's strong, but he, he has better boxing skills than Marco Hook. I think Usyk can walk, walk him onto something. Is he one of your favourite fighters? Is it? What, Usyk? Yeah. Um, he's one I definitely watch because of his ability. I think he's class. Not necessarily one of my favourites, no. Nice. Um, next Saturday, 0-2, uh, rematch between Tony Belli and David A. Repeat or revenge for you? It's repeat. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely repeat. Tony called it so correct the first time. He pretty much writ the script, then it happened. Uh, I've said it before. I don't think David Hay has been performing at his best for a while. I think he's passed it. Tony has been performing great in his last few fights. I think it's definitely, definitely repeat. Okay, Luke, thanks for talking to us today. Um, you've got possibly a last message to your fans no. ahead of the Lawrence Coley fight? Thank you for tuning in and watching what I'm doing. I appreciate all the support I get. Thank you to my sponsors. Without you and the ticket buyers, you know, this wouldn't have been possible. Catch me at The Duke Watkins on any social media platform. And thank you for your time as always, IFL. Okay, Luke, thanks for talking to us. I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you, all.